what's up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video so coronado's in the shop it is time to give this thing a facelift and hit a deer and i had to just piece it back together and get it out on the road you got my tools out <laughs> you like detecting tools don't you i gotta say them guys were really good to us without detecting and everybody that reached out to them back when the shop fire happened i mean we would probably not be in business right now because we lost every tool that we had so we're finally getting things set back up yeah we've got a bunch of different boxes laying around now we got huskies milwaukee's <laughs> huskies so our tech and tools guys have been nothing but great i gotta gotta give them guys some love for what they did for us they've always reached out they you know asking how we like our tools how good our tools are and i'm actually thinking about setting up the shop now with tech and tools the whole thing everybody pliers wrenches they've got an awesome bundle on there and this ain't a sponsored video they didn't ask for this video i am just that happy with their tools and i asked the guys this morning because last night i got so irritated but not having tool organization because we use the tools in the service truck. When we got the Texans, we outfitted the whole service truck. And I want to keep that thing available for people that need help, people that need roadside assistance, people that are broke down and, and you know they ain't got the funds and the help to get their trucks going. So we're trying to keep that thing outfitted to help people like that. So um, but these things have been great. Our tools have been I will say, their tools hold up. That's all Dad uses. And he's literally confiscated all of them. What's your opinion on the Tectons? They're pretty good. Even the chrome ones, I use them for impacts. Uh, That's all you good. use now, isn't it? Uh, the ratchets, they're really good because I have a broken one. Here's, I use the Tecton. Oh, I didn't even realize we had a torque range. We got the three eighths half inch. We got three eighths half inch. Uh, I think we got a one inch. I think we got a one inch. But as you see, that's, that's all I use. Cause if I use the black sockets, I'm getting to an age I can't see and I lose it. So I like the chrome. And I use them for the impacts too, the big ones. That's what I'm saying. I've not had any. People, I've not broke one. A lot of people don't use chrome, chrome sockets for impacts because they come apart. But I've not had one come apart. I mean, I ain't saying they might not want to come on tomorrow, but. As of right now. As of right now, I use the heck out of them. I torque with them and everything. Some employees that it was here that still using them and don't work here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had some go missing. But um, for what we have, though, it's been been really convenient to, which I kind of just let Dad set his up the way he wanted to. But I want to get it more organized for everybody. I want everybody to have their own box. And everything I need right here. I know, but can you imagine having a nice box that's just got everything in it, all one brand? And hey, I mean, look, you're over here using crap that you've had for 20 years that I've you just dug out. Years. These are the sounds I got when the shop burned. Uh, Pros or something. Away. I know, but. But I used all the Tektron for all these. Yeah. No, Tektron's got a good set. Uh, I'm going to go in there and see what they've got for combinations, like boxes, and I'm pretty sure they do it all. And they deliver it to your door, so. All right, let's go check out Brax and see what the heck he's doing. What are you doing to the Coronada today, buddy? This Ripping is... her apart? Yeah. You gonna get some of these trucks on the road? Yeah. Bro. It hurts. It's hard to get them off, ain't it? Yeah. Mm. Where you, I just want to see this one's all busted up from the deer 
and then the other one over there the back of it's ripped off i just wanted all to look good and match see how these pieces were gone uh, these pieces were gone on the other side so we're just, i want it all matching we might paint it in rhino liner what do you think about that do that tamble rhino liner on this thing too or you just want to paint it regular All right, so got all the parts for the green truck. We got the new paint booth. And guys, I've got to, uh, I've got to pause the video right here and move to that. So I took a video of the new paint booth. We actually stood it up and tried it out the other night. And I've got some footage of it. This thing is huge. So while I dig out these Freightliner parts, I'm gonna go ahead and play that. You guys got to check out this paint booth and we're getting ready to start using that sucker. Maybe it is going to be too big. Patty thinks it's for his Here. birthday. You could use it for your birthday. Okay. Here we go. Daddy, ear this up. He's struggling. No. No. You just gonna watch? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are we gonna put in there? Um, a toy. Toys? Yeah, a toy. That's a lot of toys. just needs like stood up. Oh my god. Holy moly, honey. Moly, moly. Please, That's insane. I got win it. When they finish stretching it out, okay? You love it? Yeah. I think Daddy loves it too. Is this your playhouse or Daddy's? My playhouse. Are you gonna share? Yeah. Okay. No, You're not. Mine. It's a little big for just you. That is massive. Did you not read the description on that thing? I just asked them if it fit a semi and they said yes. <laughs> right? I think you could probably fit a couple. That's all. It is supposed to be 15 foot tall. Okay. I don't think it's that tall. I mean, looks like 12. Well, here's eight. Probably not that big. Careful. Come on, mommy. Wow. 
one. Is this your room? Yeah. Okay. Daddy. You better go get your sleeping bag. No, this is my mom. Hi. Oh, this computer doctor. Have fun. This is so awesome. What is this little room for? This is, I guess this is where the ventilation, or the... Maybe oh, the, the filter? Yeah. That's probably why it was that material, so that way it'll stick. You're missing two windows. So there's our paint booth and these things are actually really affordable i will uh you know we're gonna do videos as we go and to see how it works how the ventilation is how easy it is to hang lights in it all that good stuff but i thought you guys would get a kick out of that i'm really excited about it i can't wait to actually get to use it but let's start digging some parts out new fenders We've got both fenders both quarter fenders the headlight bezels even got the cross piece. This thing, I didn't think I was ever gonna find one of those. Um, this is all the railing that goes down the side of the truck. It's all bent up. So it'll be both fenders. Oh wait, no, 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 no. That ain't either. That is not, we're still missing that piece. Oh no. Well shoot. Go through and check one more time. Well, I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Shoot. Here's the bumper. So we got a new bumper, and I got something else for it, guys, that I'm pretty excited about. Hopefully to keep this from happening again There it is So I gotta get it cleaned up. I'm probably gonna just paint it black I'm gonna clean it up and see how good it polishes up, but got the brackets uh, I got the bolts and I got the uh, front bull guard cover or the bull bumper for the Coronado so As we've hit two deers the red truck hit the deer that thing's hit a deer and we've got to get it all i'm these deers are just crazy right now and it's expensive to fix once you hit a deer because you this ain't something you go file an insurance claim for it's something you got to pay to fix yourself so it gets really expensive when you go file an insurance claim on every deer that you hit all right i got the bumper uncovered and it's just uh i thought these things would be a little bit more expensive than they are the bumper was about 800 bucks all this stuff together was like like four grand so freightliner coronado parts ain't cheap yet they're getting there but i mean it is a lot better than they were because before i priced all this stuff out before it ever even hit a deer because i wanted to replace all that side stuff and it was like six or seven thousand this battery box cover is ridiculously expensive so I'm gonna to try to find something different to do with it. I really wanna, I don't know, I'm really conflicted. I thought about doing where we chop it off right here and box it in, then open all this up and then just do two toolbox or do a toolbox on this side with steps and regular quarter fenders. But I've already got the stuff now to finish it back how it was. And I also thought about painting it black do black here black all down the sides and then black fenders i don't know so that's where i'm going to leave the video i want you guys to help me decide on that what do you what do you think this thing would look like with black fenders and black skirting and black quarter fenders with the green i think it would be different but i also don't know if it would fit the truck 
So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about that. And we'll go from there. It's going to be a, a pretty, pretty good sized little project. It ain't huge. It ain't like painting a whole truck, but it is uh, a pretty good little size project. I want to get the wheels cleaned up and polished. I might end up having to replace the front ones or completely sand them down because this has that coating on it. And when that coating starts to chip off, this is what happens. So you literally got to sand them plumb back down to nothing and then start back, start back polishing. And then, then it wouldn't have a coating, but we could keep them polished. But the engine in this thing, we've got about 60,000 miles on it now. Hadn't had no issues since we changed the turbo. So the engine's working good, no leaks. It's actually been a good motor. I'm thinking about the yellow, the yellow Peterbilt, the 389. I think we're gonna do the same thing with it, put a crate motor in it and be done with it. It does have one of the Fitzgerald 12.7s in it uh, on the yellow truck. So I know they had a bad little run there uh, for a little bit on a few engines. So it could be the case with that thing. It might be, you know, just worth just going up there and they have OEM Detroits up there. We might just grab a whole crate motor for it, just pop it in her and let her go. All right, guys. So I had to kind of push the parts off to the side for paint today because we have had one of those weeks where everything is in here broke down. So we are going to figure this thing out. So uh, the driver said that the uh, it lost boost, lost power. So when it got here, I took it down the road and sure enough, that's only making 30 pounds of boost. Where it usually makes 45 to 48 pounds of boost. This thing's got an A cert in it. 550 horse, it's got a platinum overhaul. Still got warranty. So I can't go in and, you know, it needs to be singled out is what it needs. But we gotta wait for the warranty to be up before we can do any of that stuff to it. What the heck is going on here? Let's connect. All right, so anyways, this thing's got a C15 A3 in it. Fresh platinum. Need to get back up. You can see here, she's a reman. Five hundred fifty horse, six NZ Caterpillar A two WS thirty four zero six E Kitter Catter. But it is a twin turbo truck, which I know. Everybody says leave the twin turbos, they're better, blah, blah, blah. But I do not agree. They do run all right, but there's just a lot of heat here. A lot of heat right in here, a lot of coolant, a lot of unnecessary stuff going on. When you have a simple manifold, one simple turbo, it's a proven, it's a proven motor with a single turbo. I'm not saying the twins don't work. And they're a beast when they're you turn these things up, all right, God, they will run. But ever since every one I've ever seen turned up comes apart with these Acer twin turbos. All right, here, yeah. that's not to create the report. I just want to check the actuators, see diagnostics, active codes, and nope, the log code. Just see if we got an actuator. Nope. All right, but watch this. This is what throws a lot of people off. When there ain't no codes, they're like, oh no, what's wrong with it? Let's see if we can't go and diagnostic test. Injector solenoid test. All right, so an intake, vac intake valve actuator solenoid test. And what these do when these go bad or if you have an issue with them, it will, you'll lose fuel mileage, which is what this thing's doing. And it will only build 30 pounds of boost. And exactly what this thing is doing. It runs good till 30 pounds of boost. All right. So let's start our test. 
Now check this out. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Not okay. So cylinder number three has an open, could be a wire, could be an actuator, which under a platinum overhaul, they don't um, warranty anything electrical. So it's something we'll have to fix ourselves. Let's go ahead and check the injectors. Okay, okay. Alright, are all good. Which is running good. It don't miss or anything. Brax found some exhaust leaks on it. We gotta fix a few other things. Alright, that's all I needed to see. Puppy dogs, you got war down. We've been out there chasing the kids around. Poor Holly, I thought she was going to stroke out. Alright, let's find actuator number three. There's just too much going on under this valve cover. Figure this out. Check the pins. Let's unplug it and plug it back up. For the heck of it, now that we've moved it around. There we go. That easy. <laughs> now, if it stays that way, watch we'll run it again. Oh, this reading. So what we'll do is we'll go in here and pull it back out. Ah, see, not okay, open. So we'll take some cleaner, hit it with some cleaner, some dielectric grease, put it back on, make sure this clip's good and tight. Hopefully it should run better. All right, Velcro's back on it. Let's fire it up, see if it sounds any better. Thanks, son, like brand new. Let's start this test all over again. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, we're good. 
right, let's put her back together. All right, guys, let's take this thing for a ride. So before, 30 pounds of boost is all I can get out of it. Now let's see what she'll do. speedometer ain't working another problem we're having with it is the it keeps shattering clutch brakes so when we get back we got to figure out what's going on with that just had a transmission put in it uh 13 speed so we got to figure out why the why it's shattering clutch brakes it'll last about a month and the clutch brake goes out and put in, and these have bolt-in clutch brakes so they don't go in and out pretty easy Kitty, kitty. shouldn't have no problem pulling no load up a hill that's for sure now to figure out what's going on with the clutch brake all right guys made it back time to get back on this coronada and today being friday we got hammered with work we've got four boat loads out here it's got to leave this weekend and two reefer loads just got to leave this weekend so i'm actually going to have to use the coronado we're going to send that back out for a few days and while it's out i'm going to set the paint booth up and start painting the cab the sleeper on the peterbilt and those parts for the coronado we'll just kind of knock everything out at one time uh now we've got we've got like three trucks in that's broke down right now and can't go back out so having to put the spares out there the ones that i wasn't ready to put on the road yet are going on the road i'm just pulling the trigger trying to get these things back out and running and i'll just hire a couple more drivers so things are going pretty good and starting to finally get evened out i mean it's been crazy getting this place set up it really has it's taken a lot of work a lot of time and just i thought that it was going to be a quick easy thing and get back to normal life and holy crap was i wrong it has been a uh it's definitely been a a job to do but i'm happy with it super glad to be doing what we're doing i'm blessed i'm living the american dream and these trucks have literally taken me to a whole new world that i never thought i'd ever get to live and a lot of it is thanks to you guys as well for supporting us and following us and and making it possible because all these loads and contracts and things that we get now and you know new drivers and new trucks and the company's growing like crazy is because you guys support us and you know you show the world um what we're capable of what a small company is actually capable of and what we can do when you put your mind to it how hard you work and um you know there's a lot of different things that make a a recipe come together and and it works so i love you guys and i appreciate it don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you think about going black on the bottom of the coronado 
or do we keep it green? Because when that thing gets back, we're going to stick these parts on, and I want it to look killer. So, love you guys. See you on the next video. Oh, and by the way, me and my wife's getting ready to take off in Rooster. We got a load to take over the mountains. So, you guys are going to go along with us in the morning. So, we'll see you tomorrow.